Hi, welcome to episode 154 of The Corner of Knit and Tea. I'm Laura, also known as Fluffy K on Ravelry, Fluffy Kira on Instagram and Twitter. I blog over at thecornerofknitandtea.com, and that's where this episode and every episode show notes will be. I have an Etsy shop called The Corner of Knit and Tea, where I sell my hand spun yarns. And we have a Ravelry group called The Corner of Knit and Tea. Hello, how are you? It is Sunday, September 17th. It is uh, overcast and rainy. It stormed all night and it's in the 60s today, so it's a nice little taste of fall. I've actually been a little off all weekend. Um, on Friday, I uh, stabbed myself with a knitting needle. It was one of my um, US signatures, um, size zero, um, and I stabbed my hand with it, which was not very much fun. And so I went to the doctor on Friday afternoon to get an updated tetanus shot. And so I have felt a little off all weekend. Um, they also gave me a flu jab at the same time. So um, I have just been kind of taking it easy this weekend and that felt a little under the weather. Um, but the uh, rainy weather has been nice and I have been enjoying tea, which I will share with you in a minute. Um, before that, my week was quite nice. <laughs> My boss was still out of town, so it was quiet at work, and I got a lot of crafting done. Um, so I have lots of fun things to show you. So I guess let's get started. So today I am drinking tea in my, um, this is the National World War I Museum Great Centennial War. It is here in Kansas City, and um, they have been doing a uh, commemoration from 2014 to 2018, commemorating the uh, centennial of the World War. Um, which is what they called it back then because they didn't know there would be another one. Um, and today I am drinking, um, I'm totally getting into the fall spirit. This is the Downton Abbey Christmas blend. Um, basically it's black tea with a whole bunch of mulling spices and a little bit of orange. So it reminds me of fall and toasty things. And um, actually on Friday night, I uh, was a bit chilled after I got all those vaccinations and everything. And so I made myself a hot cup of tea and it was still, the tea itself was still out on the counter. So I just thought I would grab that for today. So that's what I am drinking. One of my favorites, um, both show and tea. So let's talk about the knits. Um, the biggest thing that I finished this week is I finished my Calliope Cowlette. And that is out of Manos del Uruguay. Hang on, I have the tag. Manos del Uruguay Alegria Grande. That is a new yarn that they have come out with. It is the roughly same base as their Allegria, which is their sock base. It is 25% polyamide, 75% wool, um, and it is bouncy and lovely. I got it in the colorway Tanat. Um, this cowl, uh, one skin was generously sent to me for review by Fairmount Fibers. They are the U.S. distributor of um, Monos del Uruguay. And then I picked up a second skein. Um, the cowl itself was written for DK weight, but it worked with the worsted weight. I went up one needle size. This is the Calliope Cowlette. Um, it is by Karina Spencer. And um, I ended up using about 280 yards. It is meant to be worn thusly. Um, I have to say this was a pleasure. Um, the yarn itself is absolutely beautiful. It's pinks and purples and browns and oranges and then little splotches of blue in it. Um, the yarn was super soft and bouncy. Um, it, I am sure it's going to keep me nice and warm. It was just really, really nice to knit with. And um, this was the perfect pattern for helping so that there isn't random pooling or variegation. And um, I really enjoy this style where it starts out as um, kind of a back and forth shawl and then you join to make it a cowl. Um, I think mine came out a little bit bigger than pattern, but that is fine with me. Um, I like it because there isn't so much bulk at the back of the neck. Um, but then you still get all the fun shawl stuff happening in the front. And I like wearing my shawls um, bandana style anyway. So um, I am looking forward to wearing this in the fall and I really enjoyed working with the yarn. So a big thank you to Fairmount Fibers. Um, and I would highly recommend this one. And there will be a full um, blog update uh, or a blog review this week with pictures um, and more information. So if you're interested, you can check it out. So that was my first finish this week, and that was um, the the project that I really needed to get done this month um, because I said I would review it this month. So with that, I have a little load off and have some time to work on a few other things. I did make one other minor finish this week. 
I knit Miss Roxy a pair of mittens to match the hat that I showed you last week. Um, the yarn is Dream in Color, uh, classy. It is in the colorway Raspberry Blaze, which is a pink kind of over dyed in black. Um, the mittens are Simple Mittens by Tin Can Knits in the child size. I made no modifications, uh, followed their instructions entirely. Only thing that I do is I add um, a mitten cord on them so that it can be um, it can be strung through her jacket so that they don't get lost. And I'm hoping I made hers long enough. I kind of guessed based on her height. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, so those are done and that is a set for Miss Roxy. I have one more set um, that I might start on this week. We'll just have to see, um, but you guys will see that as I work on it. So again, that is my second finished object this week. So that brings me to what I am working on. I am still working on and enjoying my mom's um, blanket. This is the Memory Blanket by Georgie Nicholson. I made one for myself that's sitting right behind me. Um, and my mom fell in love with it and wanted her very own. And she said she's actually been watching the last couple podcasts to see the progress on it. Um, I am up to, I think I'm on my 21st square, although I'm not quite doing it um, in a square. I have 16 square and then I started adding some others. And actually I was in the middle of one last night. I kind of forgot about that when we went to bed. So I have to finish that. Um, and I have not had another ends weaving in session. So um, that will need to happen this week as well. Um, but that is where I'm at with it. And um, a friend of mine that delightfully sent me a post office uh, box crammed full of leftover scraps. So I will be very on my way. Um, part of the reason I have not been proceeding in square fashion is because I don't have all the colors that I want to put next to each other. Um, so this week should definitely make that happen and I am super excited about that and we'll continue to show you as I move on. Um, again, it's the Memory Blanket by Georgie Nicholson. I sort of follow my own pattern. Notes are on my project page and um, I love this. This is like instant gratification because I can do a square or two and um, be done. So uh, I'm really enjoying this. I expect that this will see a lot of work in the next few months as I um, work around some of my other projects. Um, finally, I mentioned that I was going to cast on um, a baby gift. This is for a second cousin of mine who had a baby this summer. Um, I decided to go with the baby vertebrae pattern. It is a cute little sweater um, by Kelly Brooker. Uh, the uh, newborn version is actually free. It's called baby vertebrae. Um, or maybe it's just called vertebrae. And then there are larger versions available for, there is a, a baby or child vertebrae, um, which has quite a few more sizes. And then there's also a mama vertebrae now um, for women. Um, but so I am doing the three to six month size. The baby was born this summer and it's California. So I figure it won't need too much. Um, so I am doing this. Um, oh, and the nice thing about the pattern is it also is written for multiple weights of yarn. You can use fingering, DK, and worsted, and there might be a sport. I can't remember. Um, so it's got all kinds. Um, and I am using a skein of uh, Knit Picks Hawthorne Speckled. Um, it is the speckled dyes that Knit Picks does every so often. They're not usually in stock. You kind of have to catch them when they come in. Um, and it's got pinks and yellows and a little bit of orange and black, and it is called Graffiti. I'm sure you can't see it that well because it's washing out the screen. Um, but I started on this uh, earlier this week, and I am now, I have broken for the sleeves and I am working on the body. I have about another four inches on the body. Um, it's a super simple top-down raglan. Um, it's just kind of a little sweater to keep baby warm. And then I'll come back and do the sleeves and um, the it's got a button band, or not a button band, but it's got like a, a collar and band um, that I'll do. And I'm debating, um, I have to see what I have, but I'm debating if I have um, yarn in the hot pink colorway that's in here, I'm debating making the um, cuffs and bands contrasting in that dark pink. Um, because I think that would be really, really cute. So that is what I'm working on for this week. I assume that I will finish this this week. I have one more baby knit and one more set for Miss Roxy. Um, so I will be working on those this week. And then my projects for October, um, I received some beautiful uh, gradient kit in the mail this week. Um, and I will be, uh, it's a gradient set from Zen Yarn Garden. And um, I will be working on that. Uh, I have a shawl pattern picked out for that and that is a review for next month. 
And then I also have um, the Citron Knit Along, which I think I'll probably start with that hand spun. Um, and then I would really like to start an exploration station. So next month is going to be all the shawls, um, but right now I'm going to do a few more baby knits um, and knock those out. So that is what I'm working on this week. Um, and I cast on for the second sock, that was actually when I stabbed myself in the hand on Friday, I cast on for a second sock of the West Yorkshire Spinners, the Peacock Socks. I had put those down because I had other things I needed to do this month, um, but I picked that back up and started it. So I will try and be finishing that one in the next few weeks. And I went ahead and swapped those needles out um, because I decided that I was not going to continue with them after I jabbed myself. So, um, yeah. So I'll be working on that. I really just got like the first five or six rows of the cuff, so I didn't bring that to show you today. So sip of tea and then let's get into the spins. Last week I was finishing up the uh, Fragrances Fibers Opulence Blend, which was um, Merino, Baby Alpaca, Silk, and Cashmere, I believe. Or it might have had Yak in it. I can't remember. Um, and that was in the colorway Brooklyn. And it is not quite dry, but it came out beautifully. It's kind of mauve and chocolate brown, and then it's got a few areas that are a little bit lighter tan. Um, the colorway was Brooklyn. I don't think the camera is doing it justice, but I will be taking some photos today. And um, it's still a smidge wet, so it'll probably be tomorrow before I get a good um, weight and length on it. Um, but then that will be going up in the shop this week. My guess is it's probably about a sport weight. Um, and I'm guessing probably three to 350 yards. So, and it is decadent. It would be absolutely fabulous in a cowl around your neck. Um, it is just absolutely super, super, super soft. Um, and the silk and the um, alpaca give it just a little bit of luster too. So that is really, really pretty. Um, the braid that I'm working on this week was the one I talked to you about last week, and thank you to those of you who gave me some advice on how to spin it. It is uh, Southern Cross Fibers. It was a 50-50 South African Superfine Merino and um, Mulberry Stripe, and uh, it was in the You're a Wonder colorway after Wonder Woman. It is red, yellow, and blue. Um, what I did was I split the braid in half lengthwise, um, and most of the silk stripe ended up on one half. So um, that is what I still have yet to spin, um, but I went ahead and spun the singles for the first half. It doesn't look very exciting on the bobbin, um, but it is reds, yellows, and blues, all kinds of shades, um, and I'm going to spin the second half this week and then ply them together. So um, that should be done probably Tuesday or Wednesday, I would think, um, and then I will uh, take some photos and that one will definitely be for the shop. So um, I had a couple people say something to me about it because of course it is Wonder Woman. So that is what I will be finishing this week. Which brings me to what I'm going to do next. I had a little clean out of my fiber room yesterday, or at least a small portion of it. Um, I went through one section of stuff in my fiber room trying to sort of clean out and organize it, and I found some fiber that I remember having and sort of forgot I had at the same time. I completely remember dyeing it, um, but I sort of forgot that I still had it. Um, when I went to yarn school, which was back in 2012, <laughs> Uh, I dyed a bunch of fiber, and one of the things that I dyed was about a pound of Falkland, thinking I might use it as a sweater spin. Obviously, I have not done that, but I decided to pull one of the braids out this week and um, tackle it as a spin. It is um, what I like to think of as a hydrangea color. It is blues and purples and pinks, and I think I might have put just a smidge of brown in here, but it is all, um, it is definitely like a tonal because um, I put, like I said, a bunch of pinks and blues and purples, and so I've got little bits of turquoise and like a little bit of mauve in there and some purples and blues. Um, and this is eight ounces, so I don't know that I'll finish it this week. In fact, I know I won't since I still have the Wonder Woman, um, but I'm hoping to spin this up in the next week and a half to two weeks. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Um, it might end up just going in the shop. Uh, because it's a really nice colorway. I think it would make a great shawl, and of course in eight ounces I'll have good yardage on it. So um, that is what I'm going to work on this week. I'll take some pictures and um, get this going, and if these colors appeal to you, um, then I would say keep an eye out for it. 
So I guess that is about it for here. I have been keeping busy doing lots of things, um, but then again, this weekend has been a little bit um, slower paced, been moving a little bit slower. Um, I hope to have more to show you next week. I hope that you have had a wonderful week, and um, until I see you again, I will say happy knitting, happy spinning, happy sipping, and I'll see you next time. Bye!